Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here, I'm Camille and today I'm gonna to be talking about falling in love with the gym again. For quite some time now, I've really struggled to go to the gym consistently. Like try like a few years since I was actively trying to lose weight and had some sort of goal. And I, back then I actually kind of enjoyed it, but now I get, I have this, I have developed this really awful cycle of going to the gym consistently for like a few days and then falling off the wagon and then coming back onto it. And then it just got to be a really bad cycle. And last year I paid for a year long gym membership to the local rec center. And to be honest, I have not been going as much as I should. And I have a few things that I attribute to this is one, I am kind of lazy and I have zero self-motivation on occasion. I can make up all kinds of excuses not to go. I'll pack a bag in the morning intending to go after work and then I just go straight home after work because I just don't feel like it anymore. Two, it's just good old rebellion. <laughs> my husband is finding out very quickly that it has to be my idea to go to the gym. He's tried guilting me into it and it just does not work. He'll, he's gotten to the point where he doesn't even ask me anymore. He just goes. Three would be, I have to have a plan and I just don't make myself sit down and make a plan for the gym. I have to know what I'm gonna be doing, how long I'm gonna be doing it and all that stuff. And I just don't make time to do it. And finally, number four, I have gym anxiety. I can get to the gym parking lot and then just talk myself down. Like, like, oh, people are gonna be watching me. People are gonna be, you know, judging me and all this stuff. But then once I make myself go inside, things are fine. I, if I have a plan, I know what I'm doing. I go in, get it done and I leave as soon as I can. <laughs> but yeah, those are my reasons. Not very good ones, but my reasons for not going to the gym consistently. <laughs> So my gym membership ends this summer and my husband asked me if I'm going to renew it. And at the time, I honestly wasn't sure if I was or not. I'm perfectly okay doing home workouts like Grow With Joe and Chloe Ting. You know, I'm perfectly fine not renewing my membership because I have those options. But deep down inside of me, I want to love the gym again. I want to lift weights. I want to have that bonding experience with my husband who enjoys going to the gym. And every once in a while, I actually want to get out of the house. So it got me thinking of ways to get myself to enjoy going to the gym again and maybe end up renewing my gym membership in the end. I watched a YouTuber not too long ago who discovered her joyful movement of choice. And joyful movement is any activity that gets your body moving that you enjoy. It could be riding your bike, it could be jump roping, it could be hula hooping, it could be anything that gets your body moving that you like. And it got me thinking of all of the things that I enjoy doing outside of the gym. So one, I love riding my bike. Two, I like going on walks around my neighborhood. Three would be I enjoy kayaking. And four, I really enjoy playing hoops with my husband. And don't say anything. He's not supposed to know that. Then I thought of all the ways I can incorporate my joyful movements into my gym routine. So I could ride my bike to the gym or use the stationary, stationary bikes in the gym. I could do a treadmill or elliptical workout. I could do the rowing machine for a few minutes and I could actually go to the gym's basketball courts and shoot some hoops. In the end, I decided that I would try super hard and go to the gym five days in a row, five days in a row, and then develop a more realistic schedule going forward. I thought this would be a great kickstart to making this a more regular part of my life. I just want to iterate that I am not doing this to lose weight. I'm not doing this to gain muscle. No one is forcing me to do this. I'm doing this so I can develop and maintain a happy, healthy habit for me. So let's watch the videos. Music 
I was not feeling a workout that day. It was really bad. I fought my thoughts all day long and around lunchtime, I decided that this video was not worth it and I was not gonna go. But as soon as I got home, I changed into my workout outfit, so I wasn't really sure what my body was doing. I guess it was telling me, yes, you were going to the gym. So uh, around nine o'clock, I went to the gym, got my workout in, tried to be super stealthy about filming. Not really sure I succeeded at that, but hey, look at me, I got it done and I felt really good afterwards. Day two mentally was much better. I think getting into the routine of things was a lot easier. Um, I worked out my legs. My lower body strength is probably the best. Uh, my upper body strength needs some desperate work. But I got some leg presses in, some hip abductions, and a few other things uh, for my legs done. I actually was really encouraged to go to the gym that day. I think this video really helped me with that. I was like, I can't let my viewers down. I gotta go. And here I am getting those leg workouts done. Is where things took a turn if you go back and watch my lunch mukbang from that week you would know why I'm having such a hard day that day um, I just went to the gym had a really uh, short workout did some cardio some rowing and called it a day I was just not feeling it but I did go and it made me feel really accomplished messed up and didn't see what time my gym closed on Fridays. They close at nine o'clock. Guess what time I got there? Mm -hmm. I got there at nine o'clock. And so I went back home and usually whenever stuff like that happens, I just sit on the couch, watch TV. Well, instead I pulled up Grow With Joe's most recent upload and did a little workout at home. Saturday was another really bad mental health day for me, but instead of wallowing, I hopped on my bike and rode about 10 minutes to the gym, put in a nice arm workout that I did on day one, and then I went over to the park and read on a park bench for a little bit, cried a little bit, and then rode back home. to emphasize you do not have to go to the gym to exercise 
or develop an exercise routine or participate in your joyful movement of choice. I think that is one of the great things about YouTube and the internet in general. It has given people the opportunity to work out at home, at the park, really anywhere they want, however they want, for free or at a low cost. It just depends on you. I also want to emphasize that even though I found alternatives to my joyful movements at the gym, does not mean that I will stop doing those joyful movements outside of the gym. I'm still going to take my bike out and ride around the neighborhood. I'm still going to drag my kayak out and take it to the lake this summer. I just want to make that perfectly clear. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.